Okay, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to call the, uh, this meeting to order. Uh, we're going to start before we start our regular council meeting for the month. Uh, we are going to move into our public consultation uh, on the electrical boundary review. Uh, this is something we're mandated to do by the province uh, apparently every eight years. We need to look at the uh, municipal election boundaries that we use in town as well as the composition of our council. And so we're going to, uh, I'm going to turn it over to uh, our, uh, our experts who did the uh, report for us on the, uh, on the review. Uh, I'm going to call on Celine, uh, I guess, and Oliver from our planning department uh, who are mandated to look at the review for us. So if you want to go ahead, uh, we're sure. ready. I should add while they're getting set up there that the, the public notice was given for this uh, particular uh, meeting uh, and for the fact that we're doing the review and to my knowledge we have not received any written submissions from anyone in the public. Correct. Celine. All right. Can everyone hear me okay? <laughs> Excellent. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, my name is Celine and I'm going to go over the electoral boundary review. And maybe the lights. All right, so for, thank you. First of all, I'm going to go over the uh, scope and the objective. So this is to satisfy the requirements which are outlined within the section 369 of the Municipal Government Act of Nova Scotia, also known as the MGA, of the town of Westville to review their electoral boundaries in 2022. From the basis of the town's application to Nova Scotia Utility and Review Board, also known as the NSUARB, by the end of 2022 regarding the electoral boundaries for the next eight years. So a little background information. <coughs> uh, at present, the town of Westville is primarily a residential community which together with neighboring Stellarton, Trenton, and New Glasgow forms part of the third largest urban area in Nova Scotia. The character of the community is predominantly residential and single unit homes are the most common form of development in the community. Based on the 2021 census of population by Statistics Canada, the town of Westville currently has a population of 3,540, approximately 1,660 private dwellings, a land area of approximately 3,459 acres or 14 squared kilometers, population density of 1.0 people per acre or 252.86 people per squared kilometer. Now we'll get into the review and analysis. This study has collected and analyzed data for Council's pursuit. The following data provided from the town, Statistics Canada, Nova Scotia Department of Municipal, Municipal Affairs and Housing and other sources, which is population, number of electors, variation of voters, comparative analysis of other Nova Scotia towns. So we'll get into the current situation of Westville. The town currently has an at-large electoral system with no wards as illustrated in the table. That being the number of councillors for an at-large ward system, or sorry, an at-large electoral system, uh, population estimated as of 2021, 3,540. The population change since 2016 has decreased by 2.4%. The address Geographic size is 14 kilometers squared, and the population density per people uh, per squared kilometers is 252.86. As you can see in the pie chart here, it gives a nice visual representation of population to electors. Results of the 2020 election revealed the total number of electors to be 2,764 which does represent 78.1% of the total population of the town. A comparative review of all towns across Nova Scotia was completed. 
due to the nature of the towns within the province as compared to re regional municipalities and rural county municipalities, which do have different representation and electoral requirements under the MGA, this study is only looking at towns. The town of Westville has a population of 3,540, which puts it within the third quartile of population in relation to 25 towns in Nova Scotia. From this data, there is an average representation ratio of 717.4 population per councillor within towns in Nova Scotia. Towns considered to be of comparable size and characteristics include the town of Pictou and the town of Port Hawkesbury, which can be seen in this visual representation of the population of all 25 towns within Nova Scotia. Again, town of Port Hawkesbury and town of Pictou are comparable to Westville. Next, we will look at the population density of the towns. The town of Westville has a population density of 249 people per square kilometer, which puts it in the first quartile of population density per square kilometers when compared to all 25 towns within Nova Scotia. Towns with similar population density to Westville include the town of Annapolis Royal and the town of Clarks Harbor. And this is a, another nice visual representation of all 25 towns in Nova Scotia. Again, Annapolis Royal and Clarks Harbor being comparable to Westville. Representation of towns within Nova Scotia was also looked at. Each town in Nova Scotia has four to six elected councillors, not including the mayor. The town of Westville currently has four councillors Within Westville, the representation ratio of population per councillor is 885, which is very close to the average representation ratio of, count of all towns in Nova Scotia, that being of 717.4. The town's representation ratio of 885 people per councillor puts it in the third quartile of representation ratios when compared to all 25 towns in Nova Scotia. So from this data, there is an average representation ratio of 717.4 population per councillor within towns in Nova Scotia. And again, this is a good visual representation of all 25 towns in Nova Scotia, uh, the representation ratio. And as you can see, Westville's well there uh, within 25, within 25%. All right, so some op options for consideration. Uh, we did look at three options and analyzed them within the study. So as previously stated, the results of the 2020 election of the town revealed the total number of electors to be 2,764, which represents 78.1% of the total population of town, of the town, sorry. So now we will look at the different options Option one would be to maintain the status quo. Currently, the town has an at-large electoral system with no defined wards. As such, the situation would remain as illustrated below. Estimated population being 3,540. Estimated number of electors, 2,764. That leaving the number of electors per councillor at 691. The second option for consideration would be to replace the at-large electoral system with a ward system. Uh, this was, uh, this had been maintained uh, up until 2014. The town of Westville was using a um, north and south ward, so it could be possible to go back to those boundaries uh, if that was something that we were to consider. But as such, the situation could be illustrated in the uh, chart. The North Ward would sit at an estimated population of 1,912, and the South Ward would be at 1,628. The estimated number of electors for the North Ward would be 1,493. For the South Ward would be 1,271. The estimated number of electors per councillor in the North Ward would be at 746.5, and for the South, 635.5.
We also looked at a third option, uh, which would be to revise the size of council. So the town's population trend in recent years has been declining as illustrated in the table below. Uh, the population, as I had previously mentioned, uh, from 2021 is at 3,540, uh, which is a decrease from 2016 of 2.4%, leaving a population density per squared kilometers at 248.6, the number of councillors at four and a representation ratio, uh, population per councillor at 885. I will note uh, that a reduction of councillors um, to three councillors and a mayor could be possible, but it does leave the potential uh, to result in a relatively small body, which could be prone to uh, poor decision making or becoming hamstrung if a conflict ever were to arise. And also one more note, sorry, uh, there are currently no towns in the province that have less than four uh, councillors in their electoral system. All right, so on to the public consultation. Uh, the preferred option I'll speak on first has been to maintain the status quo. Uh, the town's preferred option is to stay at the current at large electoral system with no defined wards and maintain the four councillors. Question that could arise, uh, should the town continue to maintain the current at large electoral system? And from there, if no, uh, then A, should the town re-implement a ward electoral system, or B, should the town change the size of council? And here I will open it up to the floor for any questions or input. <laughs> Thank you, Celine. Uh, anyone, any questions, comments? Uh, hearing none? I think, I think the data speaks for itself. Okay, excellent. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, All right. Celine. Thank you very much. So uh, there you have it. That's the uh, report uh, with the suggestion of three options. I, I guess it's be, we need to have a motion from council as to the direction we wish to uh, take from the, uh, from the report that was done as required by the MGA. Your uh, Worship, I would move that uh, we uh, go with the status quo with the... Uh, uh, open uh, system and uh, also with the same number of councillors. Second that. Moved and seconded basically that we stay at status quo with as, as that, with just an election of at large members for council and the mayor um, and f uh, council of four plus the mayor. Does everybody understand? Yeah, so qu qu just question. Yep, go ahead. Uh, just the procedure of this is this is a public consultation meeting would the motion not come at council immediately following this meeting or does it come at this meeting right now from a procedural perspective it comes from the uh, public hearing I believe right. does yeah. not yes yeah. yeah so this is we we would be moving on the recommendation that we're putting forward to the NS UARB we're not making that decision Correct. right we're saying okay we're endorsing the, uh, the, the, well, the, there were three options, as you recall, in the report. So we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're endorsing the option uh, one, I think it was, the status quo, basically four councillors, one mayor elected at large, no ward system. That's right. And, yeah. the, and then the, uh, if I might, Your Honor, the uh, UARB will then uh, yeah. review uh, the data and the uh, council's um, proposed approach and if they think that a public hearing is warranted, they'll hold a public hearing. Right. Uh, and if they don't think a public hearing is warranted, they will give us notice that they're fine with uh, with the uh, with council's uh, proposed approach. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. And your worship, uh, certainly, it has already been put out there that this was taking place and advertised, duly advertised. And there was absolutely no response and no one came here tonight to make a presentation of uh, anything other than what we have uh, decided there so. were uh, a couple of calls that I fielded uh, councillor McKinnon um, but in those in all those cases those people were kind of curious about what an electoral boundary review was as opposed to having a position 
and once they understood what the uh, options were, you know, status quo, um, uh, fewer counselors, or move to a ward system, they said, oh, okay, well, thank you, and if I've got nothing to do that night, I'll come and <laughs> speak to it. And they didn't come. Absolutely. So are we ready for the question? Question. Question. Questions call. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion carried. Uh, thank you very much again to uh, Celine and Oliver for the, doing the report. Sorry, changed. And uh, with that, uh, uh, no further business to come before the public uh, uh, session. I will uh, declare this session uh, public consultation closed and adjourned. And now I'm going to call the meeting of the regular council meeting for the town of uh, Westville to order uh, for the month of uh, November or October, depending on where you <laughs> I, I don't want to get, make us any more confused than we are, but uh, I believe it's actually the October meeting that we put over until today because of uh, being Halloween on the uh, 31st of Monday. So I'm going to begin uh, once again by acknowledging that we are in Mi'kma'ki, the uh, ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq, and we are all treaty people. I want to also acknowledge the uh, histories, uh, legacies, and contributions of the African Nova Scotia people who have been here uh, for over 400 years. Uh, roll call. Uh, to my right, I see Councillor Murphy, uh, Councillor Bragg, CAO Weirs, myself, Mayor White, uh, Deputy Mayor for the moment, uh, McKinnon, and uh, Councillor McGregor, and as well as our Recording Secretary, uh, Christian Reed. So everyone is present. Declaration of Conflict of Interest. Anyone? Okay. Hearing none, we'll move on to the uh, <coughs> approval of the tentative agenda with either any additions or deletions as well. I move we accept the agenda as presented. Second that. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question? Question. Question. Question's called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion is carried. Approval of the minutes of the regular council meeting held on October the 3rd, 2022. Your Worship, I would uh, move that the minutes be approved as circulated we'll second that. October 23rd. Moved and seconded. Ready right for the question. 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 Questions called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion is carried. Uh, the Committee of the Whole meeting of October the 17th. Minutes. I'll move that we accept those minutes as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question. 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 Questions called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion <coughs> is carried. Uh, moving on then to committee reports uh, under general government. <coughs> uh, my uh, mayor's report for the month uh, was circulated uh, to council as a part of the uh, agenda package. Uh, not a whole lot further to add to that, I do not believe, other than to uh, emphasize again the uh, fact that we were delighted to have the uh, announcement made at uh, Acadia Park with regard to the parking lot, uh, accessible parking lot that the Facey family so generously donated the land to, the town, and we're hoping to see some progress in that uh, before too, too long. Um, and also just to mention that uh, uh, the uh, Councillor Bragg, myself, and uh, CAO Weirs had the opportunity to, to attend the Nova Scotia Federation of Municipalities conference that was held just this last week. Uh, with, with uh, certainly lots of uh, interesting discussions and sessions uh, held uh, and uh, always a worthwhile thing and learning experience. <coughs> Sometimes say you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Well, this old dog always learns something new when I attend these conferences and it's not always in the sessions. So a lot of times it's out in the corridors between meetings, talking to councillors and so on from around the province. It's a, it's a great opportunity. And this is the first time in three years we've had the opportunity because of COVID to get together in person. So it was, a, it was well, well done. Uh, having said that, then uh, move on to Deputy Mayor McKinnon. Final report as Deputy Mayor. Yes, I uh, will be turning uh, the deputy's job over to Councillor McGregor for uh, his, uh, his uh, term. So uh, I want to accentuate a few uh, positive things and uh, as the representative of council to the fire department, what I'm most delighted with is the fact that the uh, tender is out for a new fire truck 
and the closing is going to be on November the 18th, and I think that's uh, super exciting. And uh, also, uh, in, uh, in line with that is, uh, I understand that the big blue truck, the plow truck, will be coming uh, to the town on uh, some date in November or December. So that's uh, good news too. Also, uh, I, I know we've uh, mentioned the, uh, the, the paving being uh, completed on uh, North Main Street and also uh, Drummond Road, but uh, the patching is still going on and about 70% has been done and the folks in uh, Wadden's uh, trailer court, I guess, can expect uh, some major work to take place there soon. So uh, that's a, uh, a positive as well. And uh, as the fire department's uh, uh, council rep, uh, pleased to report, and it's on the Facebook site of the fire department that the 23rd parade of lights will take place this year on December the 3rd and the parade route of course is from the Legion to the fire station where hot chocolate and uh, other uh, goodies will be uh, served and also there will be fireworks about uh, 15 minutes or perhaps half an hour after the uh, parade of uh, lights. So those are uh, uh, important things, I think, to look at. And there will also be four donation centers for donations to the food bank, which uh, in the current environment is extremely important. So those are uh, a few of the things that uh, I'm uh, most pleased with that uh, are in fact taking uh, place. So thank you very much and I'll uh, change seats in uh, uh, an hour or so or less uh, <laughs> with uh, Councillor McGregor. Thank you very much, Deputy Mayor. Uh, Councillor Bragg. Thank you. Um, I have the usual ones that are always on our calendar like police and PAC and things like that. I did participate in the strategic planning training from uh, our munis municipal advisors. Um, I did attend the NSFM conference. Uh, the housing and affordable housing and the climate change sessions were the highlights for sure for me. Um, we had another meeting of our Aging Well regional strategy and that's almost finished. So our next meeting includes the broader advisory group and then it should be almost ready for presentation to council. Um, and I just wanted to say um, thank you to Public Works because they helped put up our pumpkins that we received through the um, Creative Pictou County and Deans, which is our tourism board. They had applied for some money from ACOA federally and received some money to have this big Halloween celebration. So just thank you to Public Works for putting up those pumpkins. I know they're already busy with Fiona cleanup and that meant a lot. And then thanks to also the libraries and the other organizations that pitched in to make that a success for a first year. And that's it. Thank you very much, Councillor. Uh, Councillor McGregor. Yeah, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, similar to, <coughs> excuse me, similar to Councillor Bragg, the regular, the regular meetings that we, uh, we all attend, uh, Committee of the Whole, <coughs> Police Commission, uh, there was a PAC this month as well. There was no uh, 144 flight engineers meeting in Picto, uh, again, due to some operational things that are going on down there. Um, Sports Hall of Fame uh, committee did meet. Unfortunately, it conflicted with the PAC meeting. It seems to be the, the regular schedule there. So we're going to see about trying to get uh, get something a little different, whether it's somebody from our council or, or a community member, where we j just scheduling-wise, it just doesn't seem to work out. can't be at two places at once, unfortunately. Uh, I attended the training and planning session uh, as well, and um, as well as the funding announcement for the accessible parking lot. And I did have a quick note here I just wanted to say, I know it's been a few weeks, but thanks to the Public Works crews and Nova Scotia Power and everybody that was involved with uh, 
with the Fiona cleanup and, and helping out uh, members of the council, staffers, CAO, everybody was involved there and just uh, a job well done given the circumstances that we were we were in and I know there's still a lot of work to, to take place. Public Works crews kind of squeezing it in amongst their, their regular duties as well. So, so kudos to those folks. Uh, that's my report. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor McGregor. Councillor Murphy. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Um, also, just want to echo uh, Councillor McGregor's uh, thank you to everyone involved in the uh, in the cleanup and the and the residents as well that uh, help their neighbors. Um, times are tough like that. You really see you really see that uh, community support um, and community bond come through, and it was it's uh, really good to see, and it's still still very strong in Westville. Um, over above the uh, regular meetings, a couple of highlights. Uh, attended the Glen Haven <coughs> Board meeting. A um, couple of highlights from that meeting. Um, Long-term care facilities as of November 1st now become under the protected funding envelope for the province as the province's mandate to ensure that uh, the funding for the long-term care homes goes specifically for um, residential care, uh, uh, program supports, or raw food costs. Uh, the balance that is not used for those specific will be returned to the province. Um, shouldn't be a huge issue I think it's more of just uh, making sure that they're the money's going to the right buckets and be being demonstrated that it's being used properly um, it is effective in November 1st but the province is working with the long-term care homes to the end of the fiscal year just December 30th 31st whatever um, to the end of 2022 to uh, uh, to make the transition so they get, they've got some time I'm still working on the national accreditation at Glen Haven. That's still in process. Uh, just I think there's some managerial input that uh, they got to do some reports and stuff on, but that's going well. And the Washington Street uh, property uh, has been listed uh, publicly through uh, Blinkhorn, um, so that that'll be uh, uh, that is up for sale. Um, Pick the county partnership. I didn't have uh, formerly known as the Bren, um, sitting on the liaison oversight committee. Uh, haven't had a meeting since uh, probably late spring. I think it was. Uh, I think you, you and I attended a breakfast meeting there, Your Worship. Um, there is uh, a survey on their social media for uh, County businesses uh, to help them formulate their five-year business plan going forward. So I just want to get that out there. Uh, yeah, and that and uh, remember to stay Friday, November 11th. So. Like to see your support at the Senate half this year. Thank you very much, uh, Councilor Murphy. Yeah, just to reiterate the uh, the partnership, the Pitt County partnership. They did have a, uh, a, me a breakfast uh, session in uh, town here at the Cadia Park uh, week before last. I think it was now. Yes, uh, two weeks ago. Um, that was uh, I attended on behalf of all of you, in the town. Uh, we had I think one business person. Uh, Show up, but I was told that that was uh, we we had the mo we had the biggest attendance of any town in the county for the sessions that they were holding going around in the morning for their for the breakfast. So uh, we could take uh, pride in that one, I guess. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, all all your reports. Uh, if you put all that stuff together, it gives a good synopsis of what's going on in the town and what we've been up to in the last month for sure. Uh, lots of things happening. Cao wears. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, I don't really have much uh, in addition to what's in my um, report to, to point out other than, you know, we keep uh, trying to uh, find ways to uh, bring development to uh, Westville and one of these days we'll be successful. I think with regard to uh, the post-Fiona world, uh, the thing I would say to residents is, um, um, you know, the uh, brush uh, pickup continues um, uh, and uh, please be patient I know that uh, lots of you have, most of uh, most residents have had brush picked up in the, on their street at least once now there are a couple of places that I, or a couple of streets I think that haven't had brush picked up but staff are trying to get there and uh, I understand that uh, you know there's probably more that you'll be putting out and so put it out at the curb and in the fullness of time uh, we'll get to it um, you know I've done uh, you know as I've uh, traveled around the, the county uh, my thought is that Westville's uh, uh, Westville's uh, boulevards and and are, are 
uh, more free of brush than many. Um, I know that some towns have now stopped uh, collecting uh, Fiona brush. Um, we're going to continue for some period of time. Uh, there will be a point at which we'll have to call a halt to it. Uh, we're not quite there yet, so if you've got brush, get it out onto the street as quickly as you can. And uh, when uh, Public Works have time, they will uh, they'll collect it. Thank, thank you very much. I, I, I want to echo your point that I am aware that many of the other towns in our area have uh, ceased. They put a date on the, the final pickup, and uh, I think that was the end of uh, October, basically towards the end of October. So uh, we continue to do it, as you say, uh, where, when time permits. And the, once again, it's been already been said, but to those uh, guys in the public works, those six guys, uh, yeah. fantastic job that they do to, to fit that in. And I know that uh, citizens are appreciative of it. I've received uh, several uh, comments with regard to that that I passed on to the department. Okay, moving on then to uh, Chief of Police report. Uh, report was circulated. I move we accept the Chief of Police report as presented. Second that. Moved and seconded. You ready for the question? Question. 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 It's called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Just a very quick comment. Uh, policing was one of the hot topics of the conference uh, that uh, we just mentioned. That uh, was attended last week. Lots of discussion around the province on, on policing. We all share very common uh, concerns and uh, on, on the future of policing in our province. and. Uh, that discussion is just beginning. It's going to be ongoing for some time, so residents can be expect to hear more on that for sure. Uh, fire Department report. Your Worship, I would move that the Fire Department report be approved as circulated. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question? Question. Question's question. called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Uh, animal Control report. I'll move to accept that report as presented. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. Question. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Moving on to recreation, culture, and leisure services. I move we accept the RCLS coordinator's report as presented. Second it. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question. 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 Questions being called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Just before we move on from that one, I want to highlight the fact that the, the craft sale is coming up in the gymnasium on oh, November right. the 26th. Right, right. Be here before we know it. Uh, I think there's already been a good response, uh, Christian, as I understand, as far as tables being purchased. And there's, it's a free admission, by the way. A lot of the craft shows I know are charged a little bit to get in. This one is a free admission, uh, so I encourage people to take advantage of that on the 26th. I think it, it goes from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. And there's still tables available, Christian? Uh, yeah. A few, at least? Four. Four. Yeah, and, and on that, I just want to say uh, on behalf of council to the staff downstairs, uh, because that, as we know, we are without a coordinator right now in the recreation department. We're in between. We're, we're looking at uh, revamping that department and coming up with a, with a job description and then seeking someone to fill that role. Uh, so the staff down, downstairs have been uh, carrying the load, you know, on a, on a, on a team basis, basically. And uh, with the craft show and so on, lots of inquiries, lots of people think coming in and calling and with things related to recreation, and they've been handling it. And I, you know, it's not something that they're mandated to do. And so I want to express our appreciation uh, from council to staff. And Christian, if you can carry that uh, on message on to the rest of the staff, I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, transportation, environmental health services, water report. I'll move to accept the water report as presented. Second it. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question. Question. Question's question called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Public works report. I would move the public works report to be approved as circulated. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question. Question. Question's question called. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Uh, solid waste report. I'll move to accept the solid waste report as circulated. Second it. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question? Question. Question. Questions called. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion's carried. Fire inspection. Will we accept the fire inspection report as presented? Second it. Moved and seconded. Ready for the question? Question. 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 Questions called. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion's carried. 
Planning Advisory Commission, that book was re attached as well, the novel. Yeah. It's a long report every month. Always. Which is a good thing, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I would move that the Planning Advisory Committee report be accepted as circulated. A second. And your worship has a comment under that. Uh, it's great that we are having monthly meetings of the Planning Advisory Committee, and that is indicative of some things actually happening within the uh, town. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to see that there is enough building activity going on for us to meet monthly on it. And for things to happen, <laughs> yeah. to, to cause things to happen with changes that are necessary. Exactly. Ready for the question? Question. 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 Questions called, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Uh, moving on then to new unfinished business. Uh, first one is the uh, appointment of the committees for uh, the year 2022-2023, um, <coughs> which happens at this time of year in November. Uh, the, the report was circulated with the, uh, the, I think we did make the one change that was noted uh, that Councilor Bragg brought to our attention had an error there in the police commission. So with that change, um, we need a motion to accept the, uh, the committee appointments as circulated. I would move to accept those as circulated. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, are you ready for the question? Question. question? question. Questions being called. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Uh, with that, it gives me my distinct uh, privilege and to welcome uh, Councillor McGregor to the deputy mayor's position. Uh, hence, knows henceforth for the next year to be addressed as Deputy Mayor McGregor. Uh, and uh, we, we don't need to change seats right now, I don't think, <laughs> Councillor McKinnon. But, uh, but in future meetings, we will we will do so. Is that fair? Yeah. So Clearly congratulations, Councillor McGregor, and welcome. Great no. speech. <laughs> yeah. speech, speech. Uh, I don't know. We generally have an accepted speech. Or, you know, oh. <laughs> we should. Uh, yeah. I think it's important to point out that we, you know, we all agreed in the onset that we would rotate for those that don't don't know. So that it would be me for the next 12 months, and then mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's Councillor Murphy afterwards. Just the way that the rotation is mm -hmm. gonna gonna work Absolutely. out. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, and at the NSFM, we found out that most smaller councils do it that way so that's, yes yeah. it's a very common sense. practice yeah. some don't but the majority do yeah 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 i think it's the only reasonable fair way to do it yeah. on a council of our mm -hmm. size all right so let's uh, move on then uh, to 9b which is the uh, climate change conference i know some information has been circulated amongst con <laughs> council i personally apologize that that wasn't out to you perhaps a little bit sooner but mm -hmm. uh hopefully everybody's had a chance to look at that this evening and and so we will uh, we'll need a motion uh, I believe if it's our decision to join with the other units in Pictou County uh, to partake in this conference the climate change conference that's being proposed I, I can report that uh, for my uh, knowledge uh, the other units have all signed on Great. and we just haven't had the opportunity this is our first opportunity to do so so that's why we're the uh, last to the table so to speak uh, in looking at this. So I think as you, as you look at that, you'll see what the, the gist of all of this is, that the proposal is for a conference to be held on climate, which is a, you know, a, a hot item, uh, obviously, mm -hmm. not just for us. <laughs> literally and figuratively. Yeah, yeah, literally. I, yeah, I didn't even mean I was, I didn't know I was making that pun, but, or, or yeah. Um, and the idea is that uh, there would be a cost involved to, to our council as there is to the all of them. And I believe, if I recall, it's $1,900. But the, the good side of that is that we can use our tax fund uh, monies uh, for that purpose because it is climate, uh, you know, it's climate change related. It's mitigation. It's climate mitigation. So that's one of the criteria that mm -hmm. we can use those monies for. So uh, we certainly, I think, in my opinion, I'm just, you know, council can decide, but we, we certainly have the monies available, I believe, uh, CAO, uh, yeah. am I not saying anything? It's not right? Yeah, the uh, other thing I would add, yeah. Your Worship, is is that, you know, c climate change can't be mitigated. You know, d climate change doesn't respect- um, boundaries. Boundaries, Town boundaries. You know, artificial boundaries, political boundaries, and so it makes a lot of sense uh, to band together with other municipalities in our region to one understand what 
what we should be expecting uh, to come down the pipe uh, in terms of climate change and to find regional mitigations that, uh, you know, help everyone. So there, it makes a lot of sense to, co to come together with others to kind of think about climate change as opposed to somehow thinking that uh, Westville uh, can be unique and, and keep climate change at bay by doing uh, actions in our, our, our little, you know, part of the world. Yes, Your Worship, if, yep. I mean, just, 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 just a quick question, I guess, because <clears throat> we're just getting this tonight. It appears to be a little bit more than maybe just, just a conference. It appears that it's, you know, five workshops. Yes. We've, we've missed two of the five already, um, or, or have we, based on the schedule? Not really. No. Not yeah. really. Yeah. I don't think they actually occurred okay. according to that schedule. It does say tentative, right? So yes. just, just to see where I'm going with that. If we've right. yeah. missed, you know, good question. 40% <laughs> of Can it. Can they prorate us right. now? No, yeah. no, very good no, question. No. Okay. No, no, I don't think, great. I think they're waiting to see, you know, give every, every, every uh, unit in the county at least an opportunity to, to just, you know, discuss. review and decide yeah, yeah. before they actually got going on that, yeah. mm -hmm. on that schedule that they proposed yeah. there. Um, yeah. I That's obviously great. would be on board. Yeah. And I do like that there's a portion of it that does call for public engagement. Yes. And that that can be done broadly and not necessarily, that can be done almost regionally right. and not necessarily yeah. by boundaries. Yeah. So. yeah, to go to the CAO's uh, comments, I mean, it's obvious that climate, we, we, we have it fresh in our memory now uh, with, with Fiona just coming through yeah. recently that we're all subject to this climate change thing. And uh, on the good side of a climate change, I guess we, we had this unusually warm weather that we've been experiencing. It's going to come to an end tomorrow, apparently. Tomorrow. Uh, for a couple days. For a couple days. But, you know, it's, it's all a part of the, the process. And I, you know, sometimes I, I'll be guilty, I'll admit this, being guilty of being a resident of Westville with no large body water surrounding us you know, with the, mm -hmm. you know, n none of those issues, that issue that comes with that, mm -hmm. thinking, well, you know, we're not this, we should be, we don't need to worry. Yes, we do. Yeah, <laughs> we, we certainly, after Fiona and other things that are being forecast, yeah, we do. Yeah. Councilor Murphy? Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I would be in agreement with this. Uh, particularly interested in the, uh, the collaboration aspect of mm -hmm. it, like a regional aspect of mm -hmm. the, of the, uh, working with the, or partnering with our uh, neighboring municipality. So, uh, yeah, all for this, my son. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, Your Worship, I just want to go on record as well as being fully supportive of a regional approach mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, this is extremely <coughs> important for all of us, mm -hmm. uh, even though we are a small municipal unit, to engage with the others. I think the Climate Change Conference is comparatively important. Okay. Third okay. largest urban center when we all get together. I know, who knew? <laughs> That's right. Uh, could I have a motion? Could I ask for a motion oh, to, so, uh, so we can pass it on to the organizer? Yeah, I would move that uh, Westville participates in the Climate Summit program uh, using a regional approach to climate planning in asset management. One second. Uh, Thank we're you for that. We're all, we're all fighting for it. <laughs> uh, ready for the question? Question. Question. Questions call. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is carried. Thank you very much for that. Uh, come to uh, next <coughs> session is the public engagement. Do we have any public oh. engagement? We have no public engagement. I, I want to acknowledge, I, I'm just going to do this. I want to acknowledge that Morris Campbell is here. Yeah. Uh, Morris Campbell is a faithful citizen who comes to all our council meetings. Uh, as much as he's humanly possible to do so, and I, you know, I, I know we, we have a we had a, a, a small contingent of people who do come on a regular basis. Morris is probably the star; he, he tends them all. And I, I, on behalf of council, I want to acknowledge that. I think it's very important that we 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 want input from citizens. You know, we ask for it, um, and and we appreciate it because it helps us in our decision making. And so it's of vital important. And Morris, I want to just say thank you very much for that. Um, so we do need an in-camera session. So uh, I'm going to ask I'm going to ask for a motion from council to move in camera, if we could. I would move that we. Uh, Before move. we do that, more. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to mention. I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, Councilor uh, McKinnon. I want to emphasize the. Uh, couple things coming up uh, you know in the next month uh, obviously as Councilor Murphy mentioned Remembrance Day which is on Friday coming Friday 11 o'clock at their cenotaph we always have a tremendous turnout in Westville 
and I hope for the same thing this year. Uh, Legion does a great job in organizing that event. Fire department obviously is involved as well, um, and council. Uh, you know, I hope that we all can participate uh, as a group. Uh, I know Councillor Murphy will be doing his fireman's duty on that day we're, we're with the fire department, but he'll be there, I'm sure. Uh, so, you know, it's a very important day in, in, in the life of our town to remember. Uh, we have that outstanding cenotaph that we rededicated that on July 1st, and uh, uh, we welcome everyone to come to Westville and uh, participate with us. Um, also, the uh, mention was the Parade of Lights that's coming up on December the 3rd. Uh, but also the Christmas concert, yes, the social uh, committee. Yeah, Councilor Murphy, is, uh, uh, I know he can talk, report on that. Tentatively December 7th here at the, uh, the town auditorium gym. Um, and it's going to be a Christmas variety concert, so it may not be all Christmas songs. Ooh. They might right. get in the, mixed up a little bit. So uh, always a good time. Always uh, come early because it's usually a packed house. usually is. It's a, it's a great celebration. Uh, uh, great concert, uh, so we. Oh, and, yeah, and, this, and this year we're uh, the proceeds for the donations at the door is going to the uh, the fuel fund. Correct. Correct. Well, very important. The social committee. Social committee. So that's uh, those are. I, I just wanted to Can mention those things before we before we went into in camera. Important to note, uh, and once again the craft show uh, on the twenty sixth. So uh, we look forward to that. Now that motion that you were going to make, uh, Councillor McKenna, I'll accept. Your worship, I move that we uh, move in camera. Second it. Moved and seconded. You ready for the question? Question. Yes. Question's called. All the fair say aye. 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 We are in camera. As soon as.